Here we have a couple of different labels what we've been looking at. Once again, we have the crude protein, crude fat, crude fiber, and, and mineral content of that. But also notice under crude fiber, or crude protein, excuse me, that it has to list if there's any non-protein nitrogen sources as a component of that crude protein. In this particular case, it includes not more than 7% equivalent non-protein uh, nitrogen in that crude protein value of 26%. Also notice on the label it says for ruminants only. That goes back to feeding a feed for its intended purposes. Ruminant animals have the unique ability to recycle nitrogen and utilize non-protein nitrogen in the digestive process and that's why we can add moderate levels of non-protein nitrogen to these feeds and very effectively utilize them in beef cattle rations. So there's nothing wrong with non-protein nitrogen. If you see that on a label, that's absolutely acceptable in beef cattle ration formulation. And this is a range mix that can be fed full feed to those cattle. In fact, that, that is the feeding directions for this particular product. So look underneath the name of a product. It'll always tell you what class of cattle or animal it's used for. If it's restricted to ruminants, it'll have that on the label. And under protein, it'll always have the listing of any non-protein nitrogen that might be in that feed as well.